things we're doing for these upgrades is putting in quartz countertops. And if you know anything about stone, stone is pretty straight. So if you have an instance where you put your backsplash on a wall that's not straight, then you're going to have gaps. And these gaps create issues. Some of them get pretty big. So what we've decided to do on these gaps is to fill them with Instafoam so that we're not having to use a ton of caulk to fill that crack. And here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. These cracks were pretty big. So I went ahead and put some Instafoam or spray foam down in that crack. And that actually gives you two benefits. One, it's filling that hole so you're not having to use so much of the caulking to fill the crack. But number two, it puts a backing behind the wall and the quartz or the stone or whatever it is you're using to give it some support. So if something were to hit that stone, it wouldn't crack. It has a backer behind it so that it has something to support it. But uh, our main reason for putting this in is so I don't have to use two tubes of caulking to fill that space. And all I'm going to do now with what you see here is I'm just going to use an X-Acto knife. And I'm just going to cut this. And then just clean it up, get the get that foam out of there, and then I'll clean these edges up, and then I can put some caulking down in there, and it's not going to take as much caulk to fill that crack. And as you can see down in there, I got some a pretty good amount of of this foam insulation back here behind it, so that it. It's going to give some support to this back instead of having that big gap. Even if you were to try to fill this with caulk in here, you still wouldn't have anything behind it under that caulk line to support your quartz. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and I'll come back when I get the caulk on there and show you what it looks like.
Uh, so I let that dry. I'm going to come in behind it and do some touch-up paint up there on the high spots where the caulk kind of went a little bit on the, on the wall there, but uh, you get the point. Doesn't take much caulk if you fill that hole up. That way you're not having to use two tubes to fill that crack. And you're giving it some support. Well, here's a prime example of what I'm talking about with that gap. Can you see? Got about a quarter inch gap there, but as it goes down, it meets the wall right here. <clears throat> so, and then this wall is not very straight because you can see that widens up to another. Well, that's an eighth inch on one end. This is probably a quarter over here on this end. So I'm definitely going to have to put some spray foam in there. Fill that gap right here. And I'll show you how to do that. Use a foam fiddle here. Fill these cracks. Looks well, kind of messy right now, but the key to it is to go ahead and just let it cure up. Then you take your flat blade and trim off all that excess, and then that'll give you a better surface to be able to put a caulk bead down on. This is really about the only way that I can think of to, to take care of this problem. Hey, if you've got another way, let me know what it is. But I, I like the idea of being able to, to back up this quartz stone so that uh, we don't have any issues with breakage later down the line and it also uh, it really helps to be able not to have to use so much caulk in filling these holes I think in the long run that's a little bit more professional but like I said if you know a better way I welcome the chance for you to send it send that idea to me and I'll give it a shot because we're doing a lot of countertop replacements and we have this issue where these walls are crooked, hadn't been framed up quite straight from day one. So when you put a hard stone surface on them, that bow in a wall, is it really stands out. So I'm going to let this cure. We'll come back in the morning, just like I showed you earlier, trim it off and uh, Lay a bead of cock down on it, make it look a lot better.